welcome back to the channel. Always Alyssa. How is everybody doing on this fabulous day? I'm very excited because today I'm going to be custom painting a pair of shoes, but not any shoes. I'm going to be painting some checkered vans, but they're not normal checkered vans. They're white checkered vans. They have checkers, but they're white, but they look pretty plain. So I'm going to be completely transforming them into something amazing. It's gonna be a super cool DIY project. Here are some other vans that I previously custom painted. I painted them just for myself, but I'm thinking I might start to make more and then sell them soon. I kind of want to do that, but yeah. Anyways, these cute little cactus ones that I made. I really like these ones. I hardly wear them because I don't want them to get dirty, but I'm super excited to paint another pair. This is going to be really fun. So here's the shoes that I'm going to be painting. They are, like I said, the white checker. So I'm going to be painting on this part, not the already painted part that came from the store. So I have my tape ready, my paint brushes of different sizes, and I'm going to be using this brand, Make Market of Fabric Paint. So if you guys wanted to try to follow along and paint your own shoes, you should get this at the craft store or any kind of fabric paint, and yeah. I still have a little bit of paint left over from the last time I painted shoes, but that's okay because I might end up using the pink or a similar color. So when I was looking at these, I was kind of thinking, I'm like, hmm, what should I do with these? How should I paint them to make them super cool and unique? And I know it's only my second time painting shoes, but I think that I'll be able to do a pretty decent job. So what I came up with, I, like I said earlier, I think I'm going to paint in these little squares because I can't just like paint the design like I did on the other shoes and like cover up the checkers. I'm not sure how that would look. So instead, I'll be painting all the checkers, but like really cool colors. I'm not exactly sure what, but whatever colors I do choose, I think I'm gonna use this space and this space to do like um, the same colors. Like for example, if I did pink and blue, I would do pink and blue here. And I'll also be doing the same thing on the back. So I think they're gonna end up looking pretty cool. So I spent a few minutes and came up with some design options here on my iPad. I just colored on top of the shoe to see what it might look like. And at first I was liking this one, but then the more I looked at this one, I really think this one stands out and I'm obsessed with it. So I think I'm gonna do this one. I think it's a pretty good color scheme. First thing I'm gonna do is set up my workspace. So that includes my colors. This thing that I already set up, it's just the backside of a canvas that I used for my last project. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be using it again because all that paint is dry. I also have my tape here, my paint brushes, and I'm gonna be picking and choosing some very specific ones that I like just for this project. So it's gonna be very specific which ones I think would be good for shoe painting. And then I'll set them right here. I have all my brushes set up and now I'm going to just work on one shoe at a time. So one is gonna go back here just so it doesn't get any other paint on it. And then I'll start on this one. But I have to make sure there's no dust or dirt or anything and make sure it's fully clean before I actually start painting. It looks like there's a small little dirt mark right there. So I'm gonna clean that off. So now I am ready to start. And like I said, if you are following along, make sure you have fabric paints, paint brushes, of course, a good workspace that you can paint on without getting paint anywhere and make sure your shoes are clean before you start. So let's get started. I'm gonna mix up my paints a little bit and I might also grab some acrylics in case I need to mix a slightly different color. Okay guys, just kidding, I'm not actually gonna start. I guess I have to figure out one more thing I'm actually gonna do with the shoe. So left shoe and the right shoe. Let me just write it down here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I wrote it down here, left shoe and right shoe. So I have to decide if I'm going to do the lines like teal like this way and like pink, or if I'm going to do them this way. I know it shouldn't matter very much, but I'm thinking what if I did for this shoe go this way and then this shoe for that way. I'm thinking that's what I might do. Okay you guys, now I'm actually going to start. So I will be going this way and I think I'm going to mix my pink color first, which I'm not gonna need too much cause these are pretty small. So let's just put a little bit in my mixing cup. Actually, I might need a little more than that. That should be good. This is pretty neon pink. So I'm gonna add just a bit of acrylic to it. Only a tad, about a little drop or two, that's it. Just gonna mix that. And I think that's a pretty good color already. So I think I'm gonna use that. That looks pretty nice. Let's get started.
sometimes it can be tricky to get like the tiny spots like that one right there so i'm going to be using a little bit of a thinner brush and just going super slow so i can try to avoid getting it on the rubber part which is usually pretty tricky and sometimes i do get it on the rubber part but then i'm able to wipe it off afterwards pretty easily there on this checkered part. I still have to do the back, but for now I'm going to do another quick thin layer because these have pretty much already dried, so I'm gonna do one little layer over them. I did make a couple just tiny mistakes on some of the pink where I accidentally smeared it into the white column. So I'm gonna clean that with either a toothbrush or a little bit of toilet paper or something. Okay, now that I fixed up the pink and it's drying, I'm going to start mixing my next color, which is this nice kind of sage green or tealish color. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'm gonna mix a couple other colors with it so I can get the exact color I want because it's a little different than what's actually in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of this color, oops, I got my finger dirty, <laughs> so I can make it just slightly more vibrant. And this is acrylic paint. There's a bit of that. Now I'm just gonna mix this to see how I like it. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Let's see. Actually, I really like that. I think I'm gonna stick with this. Time to start on the pretty teal color. I'm thinking I'll do it right here next to the pinks. Okay, you guys, slight change of plans. As soon as I put this on the shoe, I realized it was a bit too dark for my liking and I kind of want it to be lighter. So I'm gonna remix a little bit of this color and add maybe a little bit of white just to make it more light and vibrant. Okay, I added a bit more of the bright teal and some white. So let's mix this up. Maybe a little more white. Um, I mean, that's better. I'll add slightly more white, but I think it's pretty much good. That's a little better. So I had to fix up a few mistakes, but that's okay because mistakes happen. But now I'm going to go over and do another thin layer over all the teal. I finished the pink and teal for this part of the shoe and now I'm going to mix the orange. I'm trying to decide if I like this color or not. I think it will look pretty good, but I might make it just slightly lighter because it is already pretty bright, but I think I'm gonna add just a bit of white. Just a very small amount. There. Now let's mix that all up. 
all that white in there. And it's sort of more of a peachy color, which I like a little bit better. But it'll still be pretty neon and vibrant. I like that. I might add a couple more colors to adjust, but it's pretty good. I might have to fix up um, a couple little things and touch it up, but now I'm going to do this back part of the shoe right here in the same colors and the same pattern. has to dry so now I'm going to set it aside so I can start working on the next one and I have to do it all over again <laughs> the whole process the checkered part for now so I'm gonna let this one dry and come back to the one I was working on earlier and I'm thinking I might want to do some kind of cool pattern on the sides so I'm gonna start thinking of what I'm gonna do for that I was thinking maybe I could use this teal color and on this part I'll make like some beach waves or something instead of just doing it solid color I'm not sure though I'll have to think about it it's the next day these have all dried out but they are definitely not finished yet I still have a lot of work to do so I have a little plan of what I'm going to do right here because I do want to put color there. I was drawing it out on my iPad and I think that's going to be what I'm going to do where there's like a wave here and then like kind of a sunset. So sort of like beach vibes, I suppose. I, that's kind of the look that I'm going for. But I also might touch up the front just a little bit so it can be perfect.
some of the second layers to what I've already painted because this paint is pretty thin so I will need at least two or three thin layers. Now I'm going to be adding orange onto all of this pink and as soon as this one's dry I'm going to do the same. But this one is dry so I'm going to be doing an orange swipe just about right there and then coloring that in. Once that dries I'll do yellow and then a little sun at the bottom like a sunset. shoes are all dry they're looking so cute I love them but there's still one more step all I have to do is put this tape on this part of the shoe and then I'm going to seal them got the first shoe all taped up now I gotta do the second one the reason I'm taping up this rubberish part of the shoe is because for the specific sealer that I'm using it can turn rubber a bit yellow so I'm just gonna tape the bottom off just to be safe Oh my gosh, you guys, so I was about to film, but then that bee was literally on my leg. So I carefully used the sealer to like get it off, but it's still there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I hope it like flies away because I have to use that sealer. Okay guys, so the bee finally left. Anyways, I'm gonna be using this silicone water guard. It's for like fabric and canvas and stuff. So that's what I'm using, but there are a lot of other sealers that you guys can use. But yes, here we go. I'm gonna make sure not to breathe it in and I'm gonna spray it from like 10 to 12 inches away and shake it first. I wanna make sure to get every side. Since it is raining today, even just lightly, I'm gonna bring these inside to dry, like in the garage or something because, you know, I would not want them to get wet and usually I would leave them out there in the sun. So if it's sunny for you, you can leave them out in the sun. I'm just gonna be setting them on top of this box inside my garage right here so they can dry out. And I'll leave them there for at least 24 hours. It's been over 24 hours of my shoes drying in the garage. I got them and now I'm going to take off the tape so they can be finished. I got all the tape off. What do you guys think? I think they turned out super cute. Let me show you guys in better lighting. Here they are. I really love how these ones turned out. I'm glad I picked these colors. I think they work super well together and the cute sunset and the wave. I thought that was also a pretty good idea. I really love them. So cute. Plus, look at the back. Super cute. Well, I really hope that you guys just love these pair of shoes as much as I do. I had a lot of fun painting them, even though it did take me like hours and hours. It did take a really long time, but it was a lot of fun. And I'd say I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I really love them. They're super like, um, what's the word? Tropical, I guess, tropical, like beach type theme, which I really enjoy. As you can tell, I have a lot of like beach type stuff on my wall, <laughs> but I really like how they turned out. You guys are gonna have to comment and tell me if you have any ideas of what I'm gonna paint on my next pair of shoes. But I'll see you guys later. Bye, thanks for watching.